Hi everybody, so in one of my previous tutorials, I had compared different methods of setting grommets. I had compared the pliers to the hand table press to the hammer method. And I said that the pliers were my least favorite way of setting grommets uh, because it hurt my hands and it really wasn't that efficient at um, really clamping down that grommet and making it secure, uh, setting it securely in the fabric. However, I've come to realize that maybe I had been a little bit unfair on the pliers because um, there are different types and there's different qualities. So obviously you get what you pay for, kind of like with corsets. So what I had used in the previous tutorial were these sort of cheap dollar store pliers and I had tried to set them with um, eyelets that actually didn't match this kit. And so I invested in some of these prim, they're called vario pliers, and I use them with prim eyelets and there is 100% difference, it's like night and day. So I'm going to do a small review on these. So it's important to note that prim pliers have to be used with prim eyelets. It doesn't matter what size it is, but it has to be prim brand. And this is actually how a lot of companies, they build a loyal customer base and they keep pe people coming back to their companies because you have to have the right setter for the grommet and they, they have to match. You can't just buy a size double zero grommet for any double zero press and expect it to work properly because then the grommets, they can split, they can be crushed, they won't be set properly. I think I have seven different types of grommets for like four different setters and a lot of them I can't use because it's not a brand match. Now you can take uh, one of your setters to a metalsmith and have them make custom dies for you to fit any sort of generic grommets. However, that can be expensive and not a lot of people know a local metalsmith that's willing to do that. So if possible, always try to match the brand of your setter to the brand of the grommets. So this prim brand, it actually says eyelets with washers, but for all intents and purposes, I mean, they're very similar to grommets. There is, you know, there are two parts of it. There's the top hat part, and then there's the actual washer part that protects the underside of the fabric. These do not have any sort of, oops, any sort of perforations or uh, it's not serrated on the underside. So it's not going to split like a flower and catch onto the back of your laces, which is important. So like I just said, the prim pliers can set prim eyelets. It doesn't matter what size they are as long as it's still prim. It can also set um, prim brand buttons or snaps and anything like that because the setter that actually comes in these kits also match the pliers here. In each one of these kits, if I can just turn this around without spilling everything, in these kits, it actually comes with a little disposable plastic setter that you can use to set your grommets with a hammer or anything like that. Um, and it comes with these dies. So you never have to worry about buying a certain size grommet or eyelet and then not having the right size die because it comes right in the kit. And I mean, you can buy the small uh, set like this and you can basically dispose of the setter and the dies if you want to, but these dies are made to fit into the pliers. And so what comes exclusively in the kit with the pliers, you have obviously the pliers themselves and you have this little clamp here that keeps the pliers shut so it doesn't um, open up and it doesn't uh, damage the dies when it's not in use. It also comes with this little doohickey here that you can actually clamp it over the pliers and then it pops out those dies for you really easily so you don't have to be prying it out and it also uh, reduces the risk of damaging those dies or those cutters that you're using. So it, it takes just a second to get used to and then it's super easy. So this is a close-up of the little cutter that comes with it. So on one side you have this sort of cone that pushes the fabric up and on this side you have the actual circular blade and this is, um, it can be put in the plier in two different orientations. So this one cuts a slightly bigger hole. This one cuts a slightly smaller hole. I believe this one is two millimeters wide and this one is three millimeters wide. You don't actually have to use the cutting dies that come with these pliers. You can still use a, an all method to um, just stretch open the threads in your fabric. You, you don't have to cut the threads at all if you don't want to. But if you do want to use a cutter, then I'm going to show you how this works. So you can see the dies here and it really it easily just pops in there, that's it. If I ever do cut holes in my fabric before setting grommets, usually it's because there are just so many layers I cannot get my all through. But if I do cut any holes in um, my fabric, then it's typically two mil millimeters smaller, at least two millimeters smaller than the size of my grommet or eyelet. 
So this is five millimeters wide. So I'm going to cut a hole that is only three millimeters wide or maybe even two millimeters wide. And then I just gently stretch that hole around the grommet. If you cut a hole that's the same size as your grommet, you run the risk of actually having the hole stretch out further after the grommet is set and then the grommet can fall out. So you really don't want that to happen. So like I said, I just put the, the dies in there and then I just squeeze and I can feel that it has cut. So what I usually do is I just pivot a tiny bit just to make sure that it's fully cut there. And uh, you can use little snips if you need to, to um, get rid of that little overhanging lip there. But you know, sometimes I don't even cut that little overhang because if the hole is even smaller than three millimeters, then that's not exactly a bad thing. And I just use my awl to just gently stretch it a little bit further than that. And then I put my grommet on the, the shaft of the awl and then I just gently work it on there. Okay, so you can see that the eyelet is finally on there. And even with the hole cut, it can sometimes take a little bit of coaxing. The bigger that your grommet is, the more coaxing it might need to actually wrap that fabric around the, the neck of the grommet there. So typically at this point, I'll put on a little bit of fray stop or fray check and go around the holes just to make sure that the threads, they don't um, stretch or break any further than that. And then I will put the eyelet onto the top of that hole. And now what we need to do is take out those cutting dies. So I take my little doohickey and I hook it around and it pops out like that. And once again, make sure that it doesn't fall out far away from you and put them in a drawer where you can come back to them later. So these are the dies that came in this little eyelet kit right there. So I'm just going to put them into the pliers. So you can see that is um, the place that actually the, the pliers hook onto. It's always the same size and it doesn't matter which side you put it on as long as you match up the same size dies. Make sure that uh, you're using the right ones. And you can see in this side you have that little lump and on that side you have sort of an inverted donut shape. So the inverted donut shape, that is where the top hat part of your eyelet goes. And then that lump goes into the hole there and then you press it down to flatten that eyelet. So these dies, they are designed to be used in a certain orientation when you press it down the first time. But some people have found, some other users of these pliers have found that through, you know, through trial and error, if you actually turn it around and then press it once more in the other orientation, it actually helps to further set the grommet and keep it really secure in there. So here's a close-up of the five millimeter eyelet and washer and the four millimeter eyelet and washer, both set with the same vario pliers, just using different dies that came with each kit. And here's how it looks on the underside. Now you notice that I put the smaller one through only two layers of fabric and the bigger one through four layers. But you can see that both of these are set very securely. I cannot get a fingernail underneath either of them. After setting an entire corset worth of grommets using these pliers, I still find that my hands are tired, but it is still um, far easier, far more reproducible results and far uh, more securely set grommets using these pliers compared to these super cheap ones. So if you do plan to invest on some pliers, then make sure you get a high quality kind. And once again, I can't say it enough, make sure you match the brand of the pliers with the grommets or the eyelets that you're using. So because Prim is a European brand, I believe it's made in Germany, there are not a whole lot of places that you can just walk into a store and buy a set of these pliers. However, these are available on um, online on So Curvy Corset Kits or Vena Cava Design. So I hope you enjoyed this small little review and I will see you guys next time. Bye.